And a lot of small business owners took advantage of the dry start to the day to prepare their stores for the next round of rain. Betty, you checked with a business that was hit hard to see how they're faring. Betty? It was a rough start to the new year for many businesses here in the Mission. As you can see, many of them have fortified for more rain. After being closed for a week following the New Year's Eve storm, fresh pizzas are once again coming out of the oven at Pink Onion on 14th Street. And the kitchen stove is back on. From one hour after the flooding started, until uh, maybe five hours ago, we finally got our water heater up and running. And that was the last piece we needed. Um, and in between then, we've had refrigeration companies, electrical companies, gas, plumbers, um, water heater repair guys, uh, floor guys, drywall guys. Matthew Corrick said he estimates those repairs have already sent him back at least $50,000. That's not even including payroll hasn't run and uh, my time or my family's time or anything like that. This was the view from Pink Onion a week ago when the street turned into a river. The restaurant was flooded and the equipment destroyed. Since then, the city came to unclog storm drains and catch basins, but not before several businesses in the area were hit with thousands of dollars. In damages. Izakaya Rentaro nearby is still cleaning up and is expected to open mid January. This space, also on 14th Street, was supposed to be a new bread or bagel factory. It wasn't yet open for business when the store nearly everything inside. Workers were busy making repairs as the rain fell late in the day Saturday. There's still a room full of soggy boxes. I have faith in the city at this point that they're not going to let it happen again. So, and we still have our metal storm doors there. So, if things get bad, we'll just plug them in. Matthew said immediately after the storm, his workers stepped up and cleared the drains themselves before the city got around to responding. And it made the difference. The six year old restaurant said it's confident it can survive what's to come. It's another obstacle, but I guess we've just been battle tested.